Greetings ladies and gentlefish and welcome to another light tank game. This time we are in the French tier 6 light tank, the AMX-12T. Um, we are here on Prokhorovka, it's an encounter game. And we're going to try and make a difference. It's a tier 8 game I should point out, which, you know, it's okay for the AMX. Um, it's not the best matchmaking it can get, but it's not the worst. It, it, the AMX-12T can see tier 7 to 9 games in common with the other um, tier 6 light tanks. And basically, well, those of you, <laughs> here we go again, those of you who have watched um, some of my other games on Prokhorovka, especially on Encounter, will probably know exactly what I'm going to do at this point, especially if I'm driving a um, medium tank, or a light tank, or I guess really a heavy tank. A turreted tank! I tend to go to the same spot. There's an excellent bush position you can try and use and abuse. Now you can try and use this um, in a standard game as well but it tends to be much more effective um, in uh, on an encounter map, in an encounter game um, for reasons that I'll get onto in just a second. So, well, first reason I guess really is that the bush location means that you're on the same side as the capture circle which is not the case if it's um, a standard game but is for the purposes of an encounter game and this is the bush, we're just approaching it one bush. In we go. There we go, spot on that VK already. And wait for the binos to come up, and there we go. Now, here's the thing. In an encounter game, and I decided not to stick around there because, although I don't have sixth sense, their gun barrels were pointing at me. In an encounter game, you often get people sitting where that T25 slash 2 is, and trying to get shots in and around the capture circle. That's less common in a um, standard game, but in an encounter game you get that. So I'm just trying to play this game with a little bit of caution. You know, I don't have much armor. I'm just trying to spot people. The Hellcat who might have been spotting me has gone down. I don't have sixth sense on this tank. And all oh, flanking shots into an AT-15. Yes, please. There we go, we take one of those shots. We haven't been spotted, so you can see there's a relatively long aiming time on this 75mm gun. So we put some shots into the T25 there, track him, have another shot and then back off because I think I've probably been spotted. Pull up this embankment a little way and have a couple of shots toward that AT-15 and then reload the magazine. And one thing that may well be very apparent, especially if you've watched um, uh, the subscriber replays that I've put up from Mac, um, one thing you may have noticed is that this machine does not carry much ammunition. So you have 30 rounds, and I've got I started off with 24 rounds of armor piercing, finish off that T25 AT, and six rounds of APCR. Don't bother with any high explosive, and that's the side of a T28 prototype and the side armor on that tank's utter garbage. There's no point shooting any more at him. Um, he's angled himself, but I managed to take some of his health off with side shots and I reload my magazine once again. Now, I have six rounds of APCR on this tank, but I don't remember ever actually having to fire them for the penetration um, buff. I think the only time I've ever fired them was when I actually ran out of, of regular armor piercing rounds. So you could probably actually on this tank get away with full armor piercing and not have any premium ammo at all. As I say, I haven't found it massively useful. So there's that AT-15 from earlier on. We don't appear to have any shots and I'm not going to use this gun to blow away his cover because I have that limited uh, ammunition problem. So that Tiger 1 dies. There's the VK from earlier and there's the T20 sorry, the T28 prototype. Again, shots into his side because this guy has clearly not learned. Oh, a little bit too much angle, so he flattens it out for me. Well, that's nice of him. And I'm getting a little bit lucky with these shots because I'm not properly aiming them. I'm just unloading into this guy. Oh, and someone else kills him. Oh, can I get a shot onto... No, that AT-15 is dead. So I reload my magazine and you can see we're down to nine rounds of armor piercing. But we're winning this game 8-4, which is nice. And we have a kill, which is also nice. Oh, that VK just died. Oh, enemy, enemy, AMX 12T. There's the opposing one, my counterpart. So, that shot misses. 
which it, you have to be careful with these shots, you really do. Second and third shots hit home though. So does the um, fourth shot. And the fifth, he misses me. And my sixth kills him, whereas he fails to kill me. And I notice I'm actually loading a not full clip of armor piercing. I'd only be loading three shells of armor piercing. And with an auto loader, if you end up loading up a clip of ammunition that's not full, it won't cut your reload time. You will just load up a non full clip, having gone through your full reload time, which is frustrating. Anyway. So this is where I end up loading a PCR, not because I need it, but because I don't have much armor piercing ammo left. And I want a full clip, and oh god, I found the enemy tanks, that was not the situation I wanted to be in. Have a shot on the move there, trying to make myself a difficult target to hit, don't have the gun elevation, and I get killed by the enemy artillery. The three guys left were all in this corner, which I wasn't actually expecting. Um, maybe I should have just gone over the hill. Ah, well, never mind. Um, they caught me a bit off guard. That was, with hindsight, perhaps poor play. But I'm not going to worry about it too much, because this game is over. There's just this tier 6 VK heavy left. And he's dead. And there we go. That ended up being a pretty respectable game in the AMX 12T tier 6 French light tank. This light tank gets a lot of stick from people, saying it's not very good. Um, it's not a traditional light tank, it's it's one of those tanks that really hammers home the point that light tank does not necessarily equal scout tank, it's certainly not a passive scout. Your top speed is okay, but you're kind of sluggish, your engine's a little bit underwhelming, um, and the real thing that sets this tank apart from the other tier 6 light tanks is the fact that you mount an autoloader, so it's about the gun. And this is the same gun that you get on the AMX 1375 at tier 7, it's just the tier 7 version is a buffed version, but it is the same gun. Same penetration, same alpha damage, same 6 shell autoloader. You just get better aim time and accuracy basically, and po like, presumably clip reload time on the um, 75, 1375. But this is not actually a bad little tank. Um, I have actually done a full tank review of this, so by all means go and check that out if you're interested in this or if you're interested in the French light slash medium tank line, I guess. Um, but anyway, that ended up being my Ace Tanker game. I hope you um, enjoyed watching it. If you did, please feel free to catch some of my other videos and or subscribe to my channel. And I wish you very happy hunting on that battlefield. Ciao, ciao.